Hello everybody and welcome to Edge Shed. Today we are taking a look at another build for Guild Wars 2 PvP. Uh, this build is the Power Hammer, which is for the Engineer uh, and in particular the Scrapper variation of the Engineer, uh, which is their elite specialization that they can use. So um, the specializations that the Power Hammer will actually use are Inventions, Alchemy and Scrapper. And um, for, for these you can actually check the a description below where there is a link leading to the metabuilds.com uh, website that will actually go through how you actually go about setting up the uh, particular build. So the first thing we will actually look at is the skills that you have on offer to you, the healing utility and elite skills. Uh, so the healing skill that for this particular build is the medic gyro. Uh, now this acts a lot like the uh, healing turret but um, it will follow you around, but it doesn't do as much healing and the healing gyro um, does have a, a finite duration whereas the healing turret, once you've put it down, potentially it can sit there for as long as possible. Uh, so there is the option to swap between those two, um, but the, the suggested build, you actually use the medic gyro and that's the one that I've been playing in the footage that you could see. and. Um, I, I think usually I'm probably going to lean towards the healing turret. Uh, I don't like having to keep um, recreating the medic gyro. And it's also vulnerable to being knocked out early if it, it's targeted. So it comes with all the same sort of disadvantages that the healing turret does with a few more as well. Now uh, moving on to the utility skills, you've got the uh, bulwark gyro. Now this particular... Um, Gyro I think is really useful because it halves the incoming damage you take um, well, and half of it goes on to the, uh, the bulwark gyro in effect and this can be really useful for soaking up um, quite large amounts of damage and uh, whilst it's a finite amount of damage that it can absorb and there's also a limited duration to how long the gyro will be about, I believe it's 15 seconds um, in effect, for those 15 seconds, you've got double the health, which is great. You know that that's a that's a big boost uh, to your survivability. Uh, it will also provide you with in your um, uh, utility skills or in your uh, little skill bar, the the one through F1 through to F5. Can't remember the name of them at the minute, um, but it will provide the defensive field, which will uh, reflect missiles, which is. Um, Really useful, obviously, if you come up against a ranger, uh, you can pop that and then they're going to be uh, uh, shooting themselves in the face, which is always quite satisfying and can uh, leave them doing a lot of damage to themselves. The next utility that is suggested is the elixir gun. And this is just generally a very uh, useful um, uh, kit, a weapon kit that you can have, and I, I do like this a lot. Uh, you've got the tranquilizer darts which can do a lot of bleeding damage which is good for anything that's going to be particularly vulnerable to uh, conditions although I would still probably lean towards using your main weapon it's um, it, it's unlikely you're going to be using the tranquilizer darts very often to be honest uh, it's really the sort of um, two through five skills that are, are particularly useful as well as the um, the class skill I believe it's called the, the F1 through 5 uh, skills which is healing mist uh, going back to the uh, the kits skills and sort of the best usage for them uh, you've got the elixir F which is great for boosting your party's uh, movement speed it can also be used to cripple and slow down an enemy uh, you've then got the fumigate which is good for doing a conal uh, poisoning of people in front of you as well as some uh, small amounts of damage to them. Uh, the skill that's probably uh, most useful and the reason why a lot of people actually take the uh, elixir gun with them is the acid bomb which will leap you backwards and um, leave a pool of acid on the floor. Uh, you can It's also unblockable which is great and above that you can also use it as a blast finisher without having to do the leap backwards if you cancel this weapon kit uh, once you've triggered the acid bomb. You've then got a reasonable healing skill which is the F5 uh, or sorry the number 5 skill 
uh, Super Elixir, and this will uh, do healing on impact as well as uh, pulses of healing. Uh, there's 11 pulses in total over 10 seconds, and uh, it can be very useful for supporting your allies as well as getting yourself out of a particularly tight spot. Tight spot, even. Um, the final utility skill is uh, one for you to really pick depending on your particular playstyle. Uh, the recommended ones are Elixir B, which will give you extra buffs and access to an AoE uh, stabilization from the tool belt skill. The Elixir C or will allow you to remove the conditions that you've got on you, which is... Um, I don't think that's a particularly great one for them to be suggesting you use. I pro probably wouldn't bother taking that with me, um, especially if you're in sort of random, uh, if, if you're just in solo queues. Uh, if you know the enemy team that you're going to be coming up against, then yeah, Elixir C is a bit more a bit more useful if you, if you know you're going to be having a lot of condition damage put upon you. Uh, you've then got Sticky Shoes, which... Um, They've got an unblockable CC as well as uh, giving you super speed. I quite like them, to be honest. Um, they, they have varying benefits in PvP, depending on how you are. The final one they suggest, and this is the one that I tend to use, is the Blasting Gyro Tag. Um, as this gives you the opportunity to push enemies away. Which I think is um, is really handy, you know, being able to uh, launch enemies backwards as well as doing reasonable damage to them in the process. The elite skills that are suggested are Elixir S X and the Sneak Gyro. Now, the Sneak Gyro can be useful, but the Sneak Gyro itself, I don't believe, becomes invisible. Or anyway, I'm I'm not a big fan of the Sneak Gyro in PvP. I would much rather take Elixir X because if you get the um, uh, what, what do you call it, the tornado one, the typhoon or whatever it's called, uh, it's such a it, it it really shakes up the the battlefield. People generally aren't expecting it, and it can really throw people off. And if you get the um, berserker one, then that's really useful, especially if you're in sort of one v one engagements that you're really struggling with. Uh, you get that, and and it can really change the tide for you, which is um, always great. Now, take a quick look at the equipment. You've got uh, obviously a hammer with a superior sigil of air. A superior sigil of blood. Uh, you've also got the superior rune of Holbrack and the paladin amulet. Uh, there are a few variations on this. Um, I'm not going to bother going into them in this video. They're in the uh, link in the description below that will uh, show you all the variations, but you can generally come up with your own ideas as well around it, and I, I think that that's something that you um, you may want to look into yourselves. Um, I, I think, though, almost opposite to that, um, the ones that are suggested are very good, and th they're what I would use. Um, I, I may do, as they suggest, swap the amulet for the Marauder's amulet to give me a bit more offensive capabilities, but the uh, the Paladin one is uh, is pretty good too. Okay, so we'll just take a quick look now at some of the general uh, tips and trips tricks for actually playing this. And um, so the uh, hammer is a great weapon for locking down an enemy. You can use thunder crap for th <laughs> sorry, thunder clap, not thunder crap. Uh, thunder clap followed by rocket charge to um, CC somebody and do quite a bit of damage to them. Uh, you can then also use the acid bomb for a combo finisher if you can get it off in time. There is a bit of time delay uh, swapping your equipment around, but you, you could also use the uh, acid bomb for a combo finisher with some other fields that are perhaps down in the area that you're fighting. Um, and yeah, basically the, the the main combo that you're looking for is thunderclap, rocket charge, uh, getting right on top of them, and then just unleashing everything that you can find to uh, to do more damage to them. The um, what, something to bear in mind about the uh, the playstyle is the gyros themselves uh, can't traverse difficult terrain. So if you uh, do a rocket charge over some difficult terrain. Then you're you're potentially without your little healing bot, which is um, shouldn't be too much of a big big issue. 
Um, certainly, if you're using the healing target, you would expect that anyway. So, um, uh, if, if you treat it similar to the healing turret, you can um, you can pretty much anticipate any uh, negative effects from that. Now, when it comes to actually um, surviving in this, uh, if you've taken the slick shoes, obviously that gives you a great stun break. It also means that you can run away very quickly if you need to. Uh, not fantastic if you're trying to hold a point, but um, if you do need to run away, they're, they're great for that. Um, the super elixir that you've got is, um, is is really useful on your elixir gun. As I say, it's uh, it can get you out of a lot of tight spots. Uh, it does quite good healing in general. You're also going to have the reconstructive field if you're using the medic gyro, or you're going to have the cleansing burst and, and regenerating mist if you're using the healing turrets. So, um, yeah, use them when you need to. The so long as you're not using all of them at the same time, unless you're in a really bad situation, it means you can have pretty steady healing throughout the entire uh, entire fight, um, giving you a lot of ability to handle prolonged engagements, so long as there isn't real big spikes in damage. A lot of the fields as well that you put down are also... Um, you can use combo finishers in order to... Um, to, to get more healing for yourself. So if you have got one of the reconstructive fields on and then you use the rocket charge, uh, something that I found very useful to do is lay down the thunderclap um, whilst you trigger the reconstructive field and then you use rocket charge. It means that you're going to be getting healed on your way to attack the enemy. You're going to be doing stunning to them when you actually arrive there. And um, in general, it just all works very well together. There's a lot of nice synergy if you if you tie them all together. Um, you, you can also use stuff like Acid Bomb for some AoE healing or Detonate Turret for it. Um, I, I don't believe that using Acid Bomb with the with anything other than perhaps Reconstructive Field, which is just triggered by coincidence, is a particularly good use of Acid Bomb. It's, it's a good finisher for actually doing damage as opposed to trying to get healing. But um, I, I suppose it depends on the situation you're in. Uh, and it's worth knowing that you're actually able to do that. So I hope this video has been useful for you. Please do like and subscribe and if you've got any suggestions for how I can improve the videos because I'm quite new to doing the build videos for Guild Wars 2. Uh, I've done a lot of other types of videos. Um, just let me know and I will I will definitely take it on board. And um, I hope to see you around. There's more videos on my channel every Monday for Guild Wars 2 and then there's um, other videos at other points in the weeks for different other games. Um, but yeah, until next time, I will see you around.